Welcome to pre-math. In this video, if x square plus 1 divided by x square equals to 34, then what is going to be the value of x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5? And make sure that x is greater than 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation x square plus 1 divided by x square equals to 34 as our equation number 1. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and recall this identity a plus b whole square. And if I suppose that a equals to x and b equals to 1 divided by x, then we can write this one as x plus 1 divided by x whole square equals to x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 times x times 1 divided by x and here we can see that this x and 1 divided by x they cancel each other out so therefore this equation is going to become x plus 1 divided by x whole square equals to x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 and we know that x square plus 1 divided by x square is 34 from equation 1. So I'm going to replace this one by 34. So therefore, equation is going to become x plus 1 divided by x whole square equals to, this is 34 plus 2. And now in this next step, 34 plus 2 turns out to be 36. And now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. Let's take the square root on right hand side as well. And here we can see this square and square root they undo each other. So we got uh, x plus 1 divided by x turns out to be square root of 36 is positive or negative 6. And now we know that x is greater than 0, so therefore x plus 1 divided by x equal to negative 6 is rejected. So therefore our x plus 1 divided by x value turns out to be simply 6. So let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's recall this identity a plus b whole power 3. And if I assume a equals to x and b equals to 1 divided by x, then we can write this one as x plus 1 divided by x whole power 3 equals to x cube plus 1 over x cube plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 divided by x. And now we can see this x and 1 divided by x, they cancel each other out. And we know that this x plus 1 divided by x is 6 from this equation number 2. So I'm going to replace this one by 6. And likewise, this x plus 1 divided by x is equal to 6 as well. So therefore, left hand side could be written as 6 power 3 equals to x power 3 plus 1 divided by x power 3 plus 3 times 6 and now we know that 6 power 3 is 216 and likewise 3 times 6 is 18 on the right hand side and now let's go ahead and subtract 18 from both sides this is gone so therefore our x power 3 plus 1 divided by x power 3 value turns out to be equal to 216 minus 18 is 198 and let me go ahead and call this our equation number 3 
And here's our next step. We are going to find the value of x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5. So therefore, we are going to multiply this equation 1 and this equation 3. So let's go ahead and multiply equations 1 and 3. So I can write x square plus 1 divided by x square times this uh, x power 3 plus 1 divided by x power 3 equals to on the right hand side we are going to have 34 times 198 and now let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials on the left hand side by making a double distribution as you can see over here so therefore on the left hand side we are going to have x power 5 plus x square divided by x power 3 plus x power 3 divided by x square plus 1 divided by x power 5 equals to 6732 if we multiply the right hand side numbers and now let's go ahead and simplify these fractions over here so therefore we are going to have x power 5 plus 1 over x plus x plus 1 divided by x power 5 equals to 67 32. Now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. I'm going to put x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 together and likewise these together as well. So therefore I can write x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5 plus x plus 1 divided by x equals to 67 30. And now we know that x plus 1 divided by x equals to 6 from this equation 2. So therefore we can write x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5 plus I am going to replace this one by 6 equal to 67, 32. And now let's go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. This positive 6 and negative 6, they are gone. So therefore, we are ended up with x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5 equals to 67, 32 minus 6 is going to give us 67, 26 on the right hand side. And this is what we were looking for. So thus the value of x power 5 plus 1 divided by x power 5 turns out to be 67, 26 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.